This is the rack belt generation 4. Its primary purpose and application is for high risk security transports and courtroom hearings. It can be worn under or over the clothing so as to be hidden if the situation calls for it. A simple nomenclature of the belt. The inner belt consists of a elastic nylon and the outer belt consists of a ballistic nylon. When applied to the individual, the elastic belt is placed on the individual to desired tightness and the outer belt feeds through these cam guides around the individual and you lock it into place through this cam buckle. Once the desired tightness is, is achieved, it is then locked down with a security lock to avoid tampering with the device. When you receive the device in the box, the components you're going to receive with it are the belt, the modules, which we'll go over here in a moment, a master lock for locking down the outer cam guides, a transmitter, an optional handcuffed D-ring, and barrel keys for activation of the device. Inside these elastic retention bands you'll find the receiver module and the stun module. The receiver module contains the onboard system that regulates the duration of the activation and the stun module provides the current to the body. This is a conductive copper strip for display purposes, for testing. When the device is activated, you'll see an orange light. It's activated by a transmitter and can be activated at a distance of 300 feet line of sight by depressing these two buttons simultaneously. The duration of the activation is 8 seconds. The device can be turned off outside of the belt or while the wearer has the belt on through these access holes that are cut into the nylon. The power source for the belt is either a disposable lithium battery that is user replaceable with a shelf life of five years. It will run 30 minutes of continuous activation time with open air without resistance. The running time is similar with the optional rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery that can be ordered if you so elect. This is the rack belt worn by an individual. Essentially this is how the device should look from a 360 angle on how it's placed on the individual. To break down some of the conveniences here, as we discussed earlier, this is the inner elastic expandable nylon belt. This is the outer nylon belt. The purpose of this outer belt is to lock the unit down for security purposes to avoid tampering with the device. As you can see the final step, once feeding the nylon outer belt through these cam guides located around the circumference of the belt terminating with the cam buckle that is locked down and secured with a master lock to prevent tampering. For ease of access, the stun module we discussed earlier is located here. You can simply raise this up and turn the device on or off using the barrel key we discussed earlier. This might be beneficial in between transports, court recesses, etc. Now, to reference the stun module we discussed, it is located here over the lower part of the back on the right side, just over the kidney area. The probes are facing inward, making contact with the individual. As mentioned earlier, it can be worn outside the clothing or underneath the clothing as to be inconspicuous and undetectable.